Invoker, but how much issue of an issue do you think this game is? It could be for him having this Nyx against. It it could be a big problem. It's like if they actually struggle in this laning phase, I feel like they can come out to a very big deficit. And I think that SG might go aggressive. It looked like here when I saw their uh, when I'd seen initially, but no, now it looks like because it's going to be Necro off lane. So I thought they were going to give him some help because Monkey King, it's played by Costa, and Costa is their safe laner in comparison to Laposa playing the off laner. Okay. So. So a bit of a switch up in that sense, straight up. The other cord getting out with the smoke, getting a nice ward down. Yeah, not to block, but just to watch those sort of movements from Liquid, and also yeah, just to to get an idea of the lane. So maybe SG can look to find these favorable matchups. And the nice thing is too is like if they if they help the Monkey King early, that's where it's it's kind of that Ursa matchup for the Tide Hunter. You can really just suffer so much versus Jingu. He gets a couple stacks on you. You just get burst it down. But I think this is where we're going to see Kuroki play a big factor in this game. Playing around the mid lane, playing around MC's lane like he did that last game. Gank, that one single gank in the top lane can be so crucial because then Tidehunter out levels the Monkey King, out levels the CM. He doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter so much because he gets more of that damage reduction versus that physical. I'm hyped though. I'm pretty excited to watch. Uh, yeah, there's gonna there's gonna be so much aggression in these lanes. Yeah. As you say, both teams are out to just absolutely just destroy each other's safe laner in this laning stage. I'm excited for the, the SG Monkey King. I've I've seen a bunch of this hero played in the safe lane. I've seen a lot of the Chinese teams play it. They go that Battle Fury build. It, as the one position, I do like the Battle Fury build so you can push out the lanes, but there's also, you know, there's other builds where you see the Echo Saber, the Diffusal. Yeah. Some oh, other people I've seen the Mask of Madness, but bottom. Is though, straight up, that's going to be your first blood, ladies and gentlemen, and going oh the way of Matumba as well. Catching out Leposa as they try to get into position to contest that bottom rune, but hey, 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 Matumba. In with the money to begin things off, you know, 440 gold in the bank off that bounty in first blood. Feels pretty good for this safe lane lifestealer. Yeah, and it's already, we were talking about the lifestealer versus the Nyx kind of matchup, and they're already putting the Nyx and the Necro bottom to at least contest versus that lifestealer, but now he's got boots. He's a pretty happy man. Yeah, it already becomes much harder for them to to really scare the life stealer. Sure, they can keep it to move away from a few CS, but the kill potential is going to be a lot lower. And then he can sort of dart back and forward. And I'm going to be keeping such. my eyes mostly on this mid lane, just because I think these two guys... Big names. They're the big names. You know, Adriano for SG, of course, their biggest one until, you know, I've seen those Earthshaker plays are definitely the ones that are standing out a bit more right now. But still, this, this Invoker versus Ember matchup can go... It, it can go either ways, but I think you know, Miracle is more super comfortable on it. Once he gets like a Lacrity or Fort Spirit up, Ember Spirit suffers that he has super low armor, so he can get punished and pushed out of lane quite heavily. And you can see already with the uh, movements from SG, they've got the Nyx Assassin heading over to sort of keep tabs on Kuro and, and his Chen, see what's going up. Dio Lacour in the neighborhood, looking oh. to tap some XP up as well. Juicy. The Dream versus a Chen. And the nightmare for a Chen, getting, you know, yep. you're doing double tornado and it's getting, you're getting all your shared experience. It's, it's painful. Mind control though, top, we see him, he is having a field day up here. CM, not really one of the best heroes anymore, period. You don't really do any damage and you're, you only have one frostbite in lane, you have the clarity. It's very tough to actually sustain yourselves there. Versus that Tide who brought so much regen, but now they're going to be able to get some stacks up with that Orb of Venom finished on the Monkey King and he can put a decent amount of pressure onto the Tide Hunter with that. And you can see Theo Lacora as well down in the uh, jungle of Liquid. They wanted to contest that bounty ring, but GH, he knows. He heads over, makes sure that you know that bounty ring is going to be safe for Kuro to get to help him on his way to level two and yeah, get him into that position where he's going to be able to start making those movements and rotations and having an impact on the lanes. Invisibility. Mid lane CS so far, looking pretty even. 10 for 4, Miracle 10. 11 1, Adriano. So, and dead even, in fact, but this, this Invis rune. Invis could change things up. See how Miracle can play his way out of this one. Looking to set up, getting close, but Miracle already suspects something's kind of odd with this aggressive movement from Adriano. Miracle backs up, not looking to reveal straight away. This is smart from Bardito. So Miracle, you can see that he's sort of expecting that play, but he's he doesn't come two. out straight away. CM is level two as well. Might want to build some, nah, they just go for some harassment. The Minus Armor yeah. started building up on the Ember Spirit. It's oh. it's too much in top. That's what we were talking about. You can leave that Monkey King alone yeah. if he has a good start. Jingu Mastery doing a lot. He won't dive for the kill. The Orb of Venom helping to bring that tide under very low mind control down to about 7 HP in that. He'll back away. Had to use the South to survive there, so a lot of the sustain just got pushed out for him. Oh, Bottom lane, GH. Trying to push the other core away from having a look in on this side pull. Both level 2 at the moment on these two. Very aggressive supports early on. And bottom lane. Tumba. CS wise, 13 for 4. 
Yep, top, a lot of denies being going on as it's hard, a lot harder to get into position. Bottom lane, looking for the stun. Nice control there from the yellow court, just to make sure that GH and Matumba can't do any more damage to either himself or Laposa. So now the dream happens for SG. The Monkey King is absolutely alone top. You get the 2 0 2 build, and Tynerner cannot contest anymore versus that double Jingu Mastery with the Over Venom. CM has the liberty to jungle, get those levels up for that Frost, uh, for the Arcane Aura for his buddies. Fairly even across the board, though. Yeah, Kuro yet to, to make those movements. I mean, at the moment, GH going rather deep here. The other core is on. On the case, he's going to look to try and steal that rune, and he will get it. The stun falling a little bit short from Theo, and now GH, he just turns with a void. And Kuro's coming too. Starts to smack he's... into this Nyx. I think the Nyx might actually just get uh, yeah, killed Kuro, here. Kuro doesn't even bother coming up. He kind of walks in the direction and said, all right, you've got this one on your own, GH. And he certainly has, picking up the solo kill and stealing the bounty rune. That is that is certainly a way to sort of shift the, the difference between these two. Mid lane, Mid -lane. here's the rotation. Kuro coming in with a golem. He's looking for the control. Oh, Slide of Fist comes out. There's the cold snap. Nice little dodge to avoid the centaur, but it may not matter. And indeed it doesn't. GH is coming as well. It's a party in the mid lane for Liquid as they clean up too. Oh, they're the not done either. He's in trouble as well. Look at this Kuro troll from Kuro on his 10. The creep's going crazy. Oh my Miracle gets the double kill. And that movement, that build up as well from Kuro and GH. The whole four minutes, Kuro that focusing on that, power. the leveling and the farming and getting the right creeps from the jungle, and then you have that much of an impact in the middle lane. He even tried to skill slight, he tried yeah. to dodge the spells out there, but there was so patience. Many, yeah, there's just so much stuff being thrown at him as well. I mean, yeah. anyway, so we certainly talked about the lack of you know stuns and lockdown for the draft that the Liquid have, but of course, Kuro quick to remind us that once he has the right creeps under his control, they have all the lockdown in the world. I like how Miracle went for the 2-1-3 build as well, so he made sure he has the, the alacrity, he has that extra right click, that damage that he needed. Oh, man, and here we go again. again, they're going for it. Return of the zoo, part two, he's in trouble. He will dodge out the Centaur stun, but it doesn't matter. They've got so much damage with GH there throwing down multiple voids. It's another kill in that mid lane. This first night time is an issue. As soon as, this is one of the heroes, that, like uh, not only the Night Stalker, but these strength uh, support heroes versus Nyx Assassin, you can run them down and render them pretty useless inside that laning phase. And this first night, GH is really doing that. Now level four already, continuing to make the moves. Tumba salved up as well. Necro's Bottom lane, though, really yeah. deep. It's got a TP though, so they've got to save the void. And GH is saving the void. He's a smart man. This guy is a TI winner. Yep. He knows what he's doing. Holds those spells, perfectly played. And again, 7-0. Only one lane now, really going perfect for them. It's that top lane, of course, for the monkey. But Ember Spirit's definitely suffering. CM can't really help too much versus Night Soccer. Look at this. Oh, he's in GH trouble. is just going in. He really is. There are going to be TP rotations. The posts are coming through. They'll turn towards GH. The silence is going to wear up. But, you know, gets the frostbite. But no, he's down. GH denying us of the 7-1 Brazil dream as it stands. 8-0, Liquid leading. He is, he is going. Do they have the mana burn skill? They do. Is it going to be enough damage? They're trying to get as many right clicks as possible. Monkey King TPing in. Another TP from CM. Oh, the spooky skull. Oh my goodness. Look at GH this speed. <laughs> he oh just my runs. God. Mind control with the well played yeah. as well. So much space coming out from GH. Look the at that. The pressure is unbelievable. How long can he keep the skull alive? Oh no! Uh oh, mind control top though. Trading some hits. Yeah, out because of the boundless strike and tide. Falling low. We'll be fine. Destroyed. GH, he's got a new pace. Gonna give. Oh, finally. He consumes the held. skull between his buttocks. 4k gold lead at the moment. Seven minutes in. Yeah, Miracle is already a problem getting this, much, getting this much out of the laning phase. I, you, ideally, at versus the Invokers, you want the ganks to come onto him. But them roaming onto Miracle, it's a very Liquid-esque move. That's what they like to do. Give Miracle that great start. And he's an Invoker starting out like this. Oh my, you're giving Miracle oh, the Invoker oh, a good God. start. That is, that is the fear of many a professional Dota player. Oh yeah. Kuro as well this game already having an immense impact. Level 5 Arcane Boots finished up. Everybody farming on the side of Liquid now. Look at this just aggression of Miracle. Honestly, pausing and trying to have the high ground with Simba. Goes for a, a quick bite. So back My up to full health. GH reward. on the watch for CM or oh, holding on for the Jukes there. They're, they're hunting. He's got to get caught oh, here. He's in so much trouble. Bardino's been found out. He does have the back of a Theo Lacour, but the Sunstrike goes through. It's enough. On point from Miracle. 
Can they find the return kill? Adriano moving forward, instantly silenced though by GH to try and hold back the potential of the Searing Chains. Tornado as well, Miracle starting to tie around with him. In fact, with the Void, oh, he's falling low, but Costa Beal comes in with the rotation. Battle is struck down, they do lose Adriano, but they get the kill on Miracle. They're looking for more. GH still may be a little too speedy. He's going to have phase boost back up in a second. They'll get the Jingu Mastery built up. Can they chase this? GH looking for the Jukes. Tower starting to bite into the other core, but he'll find the stun. Set up for Costa Beal to pick up the double kill. Big rotation there from the Monkey King as they get two for him, and they do put an end to Miracle's reign on that Invoker. Yeah, very nice rotation. I, you see how uh, Miracle prioritizes on the Tornado early on to remove that Flame Guard so the damage doesn't build up. It's a really important thing to do as Invokers when you're playing versus that matchup of Ember Spirit. But yeah, again, this is daytime, and Night Stalker comes in and gets a... Uh, Gets a kill, but the mega kill streak goes towards the Monkey King, as you were mentioning. So that's perfect for SG. They couldn't have that going anywhere. Top lane, Ravage into Sunstrike on Adriano, meaning there's no chance for him to ram it away. Oh my goodness, Liquid seeing an opportunity and not holding back. And look at Kuro here. He has Manta styled his creeps. He's got triple purple blast at the ready. Yep, sends one home to full heal, and those those blasts would have connected top as well if it wasn't a, a finish off from the Sunstrike, but. Getting involved with Sunstrikes when you have no stuns on your team this early on? Absolutely the dream. Already a 5k lead, sub 10 minutes for Liquid. The supports on the side of Liquid are just making so much space. Well, in comparison, nice. this is why we've seen the attack. Crystal Maiden kind of fall off a lot. You see she's 0-3 already, not really having too much of an impact on the game, just kind of giving that aura. Other than that, she's, she's just quite weak. Down bottom, SG. Just trying to use the strength that they have, grouping up with this Monkey King, who is still in a great, in a great place. Cost of 5k net worth, second highest on the board, and with a with the tower taken down, he's going to be pretty much on par with that a miracle. And yeah. uh, does have a you know a decently considering the kills uh, in comparison to Matumba Man's life stealer. The the one good thing too is you know they're playing around their strengths. You know they know the Necro and the Monkey King are the strongest, so they're going to that lane. And we see Adriano. The Crystal Maiden was at least stacking for him. So he did have a triple stack at one of the medium camps, and it was pretty fortunate camps for him. And see him already level 8, starting to catch back up already. On top, SG wanting to set up potentially Costa Bila with the eyes on. And Summer Man, they have brought the TP in as well from Laposa. Has got, of course, that Reaper Scythe at the ready. Hard kills to go for, obviously, both. And the Tumor Man having that rage, mind control being as tanky as he is on the on the Tide Hunter. Kuro has four Seder creeps. Yeah, one of them got sent home, but he has three now up on top. He's got four. Yeah, he has four. He's one at base. They have darkness up as well. Oh, and he's gonna pop it probably in the next ten yeah, seconds or so, yeah, just so he can have that nighttime pop in right afterwards. Oh, so there we go. Are you ready for the purple? I'm ready for the purples. Where is it gonna the go? The blasts Bardino. are gonna come out soon. They absolutely are. They won't even need it for this year, and they'll throw it out anyway. Kuro bringing down Bardino. They don't have reveal though, the Nyx Assassin is 6, they throw the Monkey King ult. They are going to look for Mind Control, he is the biggest of the tank, they need to get the kill, they can't, the heal's too much, Mind Control's going to be saved. Turns around with the Gush, gets himself out of the Wukong's command, he's going to be sent home as well. Can they finish him off in time? Well with the Remnants they will. They do bring Adriano in just in time, just forward with the Remnants. We'll be able to clean some of these creeps up as well. As SG do manage to come out on top of that altercation, good reactions there from them. I like that they brought all five there. That's like very important. They know that the Ravage is going to be up very so soon. They saw Darkness popped. It was, you know, it was the opportune moment for them to bring everybody. But that Chen heal by Kuro, that 250 heal, just enough to put my control high enough not to get bursted. Eyeing up for potential more here. Costa Bill. Looking towards Matumba. This is what's going to happen, though, for a, a bit of time, at least for Liquid. They have to play that kind of 4v5 until. Invoker feels like he can get involved where you want that Aghanims. He's actually looking to try to set up for the Nyx Assassin bottom on the Invoker, but this is a very tough kill. He's trying to do the outplay with the full Deafening Blast combo. Oh, and again, look at this. This usage of Ravages from Mind Control just straight up setting up for the kill. The Sunstrike won't connect, but it doesn't matter. GH and Mind Control have enough damage to break down Adriano, and now they're closing in for more. Boundless Strike comes out from Costa Bill, trying to hold them back, but it doesn't matter. They lose Leposa on the Necro. They will manage to get the return kill onto GH, but Matuma Man is in and out of the creeps. He's got the stick charges, will start to back up. So SG do at least find one kill, but again, they're losing two cores off the back of that trade. 
And we said, you know, we haven't seen a lot of the tight ends are from Liquid, but I love how Mind Control is playing it. No hesitation, using this Ravage as a setup for the Sunstrike. Even when it misses, it's getting the kill done every time, just that no holding back from Mind Control. There's a reason why he is so renowned now. This guy knows exactly how to play his matchups, how to play his heroes. Barely, didn't even die, right, in the top lane at all? Yeah, didn't even die top versus that Monkey King lane, which we've seen time and time again people struggle versus. And now, you know, they're making all the space in the world. Miracle, 900 gold away from the Agonims, and that's when he can get Double involved. Damage. In. It's looking pretty damn scary. 15 to 4 already. Pretty big detriments. 6k gold lead and a 5k experience lead for Liquid at this moment in time. Absolutely, as you say, just an incredibly quick timing on this Agonims forecast for all Miracle. Just like the panel said, too. Tidehunter can suffer a bit versus the Necro, but the way to counter that is you go for the hood really early. You go into that pipe build so you can't get bursted through it, and that's exactly what he's doing. Has the hood finished up already? Theo, giving a lot of information now, watching Radiant's my control, ping him out. Looks like they kind of want to go for attacked. something here, but there's many more in the area. Matsu's Still, there, so, so is GH. Scary, yeah. I mean, if anything, this is just giving the information for Laposa to, to try and get the heck out of there, but I don't know if he can. GH and Matumba closing in upon him. He's got the Ghost Shroud, but they block him in, allowing the Sunstrike to connect, and Leposa is gone. Necro down again, 16 to 4. All right, GH is out of control now, too. Medallion already finished up. Top four net worth, Night Stalker. Ember Spee is ahead of the net. He's at ahead of both of the Ember and the Necro from the opposing team. And we look at the wards coming out from Liquid already. They're trying to keep that advantage going. They want to be able to see whenever the rotations are coming out so that they can always have the outnumber. And that's what's going on every single time oh, now. Bottom, bottom lane. Miracle. Play round call for Costa Bill. We'll throw down the boundless strike. Has Bardino, you know, but even the two of them, they do not want to mess with Dyer's that invoker. They'll he's give too him tanky. a tickle and back off. Yeah, he's too tanky already with that 1300 HP. And up top, Liquid. Looking for the tier two. SG. They do want to respond, though, bringing the full five man up here. They want to try and take some sort of a fight by the looks of it. But look at this aggression from Liquid. Just sending mind control forward on the front lines. Adriana coming in with the side. Gets he's got chains. As you say, at this stage, SG. Heavily, in, 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 almost fully reliant on the magic damage. There's no way that they can bring down mind control on the tide. Yeah, hood and hand of God. It's it's too much sustain at the moment for them to deal with, and they have a bit of a greedy build coming out. You know, the Monkey King wants the Battle Fury. It's still about 400 gold away, so his damage isn't really there. He's not online. And the other heroes on the team as well. Everybody's kind of lacking those items. And Ember Spirit, super behind. Not even bots finished up. Not going for that Veil build oh, or anything GH. like that. He's just straight in on the back lines. Hunts down the Necro. Finds the silence. But Tuma Man closes himself in with the Centaur. They get the Ghost Shroud out in time on the poster. But he is surrounded. They're looking for the Wukos command. But no, Costa Bill holds off. He says, we cannot take this fight. They just have to accept that the Necro is gone. They'll have to let this tier 2 drop Miracle. Hunting with the Tornado. Through the trees, won't quite find him again. GH as well, sweeping the tree line, looking for that Monkey King. Who will get it back safely to base. They'll have this Necro up, fortunately for them, with the low levels. They're not just done. Just 10 seconds. At all. They have everything ready to be expended. They have my control, they have Ravage, they have Chen Hand to God. They're looking to keep that pressure going. Yeah, no holding back from Liquid here. And understandably so, we're only 16 minutes in. They have this 8k gold lead, and the heroes to absolutely capitalize on that as well. What can SG do? They'll jump forward with the Primal Spring, but immediately the Rage comes out. Ravage as well. The Monkey King's down. And this game, this game looking ain't. like it may it just be over. Is there anything they could do? They find the ult, but it's not they enough initially. They do get the kill with the Remnants. There's been a buyback from Costa Beal. They've got to look for an intense hold here. They get the chains onto Miracle. Sun strikes down onto Adriana, but he moves out the way. Bardo going for the ult, bringing Miracle and Mind Control down low. Mind Control will drop. They've lost two on Liquid. They do find the route onto the Night Stalker. And SG showing us at a point where many would have said maybe it's all over. They show that it certainly is, and they can still offer a fight. Punishing Liquid there. Can they catch Kuro? That's the question. He's smoked up. Did hunt for him in the tree line, but it looks like Kuro will be able to get himself safely back to base. It's 17 minutes in though, and they, that's a forced buyback from the Monkey King. The tier 3 did still go down, and it was pretty much like, it was the Rage wore off, and they just full jumped Matu with triple remnant. Just enough damage to be able to bring him down. And they're looking to keep that aggression going. It is daytime for another 2 minutes or so. They have to take advantage of any of these opportunities at the moment from this detriment. Any kill is so is super big for them right now. Mind Control's deep. 
He is tanky, but he's all alone up on that top lane. It's four heroes. They are surrounding him. He's a big kill as well. Mind control. He's got any chance of getting out of this one. He should be dead here. I believe he is. Mind control. He'll make them work for it. But he's ticking down the hard stop aura. <laughs> certainly working through him. And that is going to be another oh. for SG off the back of that. Did you, did you see what Kuroki just picked up? Oh, you saw it, didn't you? I did not see it. Oh, it's a Dagon. Oh, it's a Dagon chain we've got. All right, Kuro. He is he's in. He's ready to zap some fools. Mo the, one of the big ways to hurt Monkey King is you're, you have no magic immunity, no magic resistances or anything. You want to be able to burst him with magic. And same thing with the Necro. Necro pops Ghost Shard. You've got go. Dagon now. Let's see who he can zap. He's going to be going on here. Sun's trying to lay down. Oh, the poster gets forced forward, gets the scythe. That's what he has to say about that Dagon. Costa Beal being worked upon by Matumbu, who's now got the Desolator. Can he get himself out of this? He's running away on the Monkey King, does have the heal flying through. Should be fine, but I tell you, is it fine? GH, GH taken down, double kill for Laposa, and now Matumba man, he's trying to fight back. But there's four heroes here. The Ghost Shrug keeps Laposa safe, and Matumba, he can't find it on his own. Now the TP comes in. They've lost the tower, mind control. On the front lines, Chains holding back Matumba. Here comes the Miracle. Tornado. Looks like SG may just leave Laposa dry. He's trying to get himself out with the four star, but the open wounds come in. They'll be able to bring down the Necro. Everyone else on SG getting themselves away, and believe it or not, they are slowly but surely reducing that lead that Liquid have in terms of net worth with these plays. Quite, yeah. quite, you know, the absolutely admirable hold from SG, considering the situation that Liquid managed to force them into. It's, I mean, they have to take advantage of any of those type of daytime moments, and they did very well with that, that one there. Just the, uh, the four staff coming in from the post of being got the last hit on the tower too. Yeah, they had got the to top tower as well during that, but now Liquid goes into that Roche. Nice. Nyx almost has the Blink Dagger, so they will have that better form of initiation. Recently, and then at least in the last series that SG was playing, they had those clear-cut initiators with that Earthshaker. Now, at least with the Blink coming out soon, it'll be help a lot. And Ember Spirit finishing up a Yule Scepter, so more way, a way to actually remove that silence that's been so punishing toward him. And Battle Fury is finished up on the Monkey King, so they are, they are starting to acquire a few things, but Liquid looking very strong here anyway. With that Deso, with that Aghanims finished up on the Invoker, they're looking to put more pressure on during this nighttime. Radiance bottom tower is under and look for the safe objectives, Liquid after Roche. Taking down the shrines. GH wanted to go for something, some kind of play here, but bottom tower is multiple more heroes show up, unable to about. find the opportunity. But now, it's since we said that tier 3 was down, Liquid, no hesitation. They're going for shrines. Take it easy. Yeah, the safe ones. Mid lane TP's Radiance coming through, Matuma. Tower is under siege. The front lines of all of this. Has and Liquid once again grouping up. They've got good creeps Radiance to do it as well. Ready to try and break the high ground. Adriano in cold snap. Can SG hold this? They've got the full team back for the defense. The core jumping forward. Doesn't find the stun opportunity. Tornado and EMP are going to be off the off the mark. They use the EMP into the spike carapace to hold Miracle in place, bringing him down to half health. Chains and the root. Ray has fallen. And Liquid, they do have Ravage available. It's still a very scary fight for SG. There's a jump in. It's done only onto Mind Control Rage. Comes out from Matumba. This is the way they need to take this fight. Just throw spells from a distance. Constantly with the chains, with the boundless strike. And then the Nyx stun. They can actually do a decent amount of damage. There's no clear initiator on the side of Liquid. They just need SG to overcommit in order for MC to get that big Ravage off. And SG being very careful that they don't give that opportunity to Mind Control. Yeah. Liquid's seeming to start to notice that they can't really go for this top, but the chain stun's coming oh, out. I mean, look at that, and then with the triple remnants, it's going to be the boy! He dodges out of the Ravage as well, but the other two are left to it in it. The other core's down. Four star from the Necro, gets him up to the high ground, so strike. Oh, he's going to be dodged as well. The person gets out, but he goes back in with the Reaper Scythe. It's not quite enough, though. Kuro will survive. Only the other core going down at the moment. Adriano walking back into the midst of them all. Miracle heading forward, drops down the path. They have got the ult here from Bardo. It's going to be cancelled here, and in fact, CM will pay with a life. Laposa trying to get himself away from Matumba. Death in Blast on Tejuana, but Costa Beal comes in with the back. Wukong's command down. Miracle falling low. They will be able to take the Aegis out of his hands. Adriana gets himself out of range of the Life Stealer, keeping himself alive on the Ember Spirit. Tornado is going to be juked out by Costa Beal. The, the melee rack still alive. Matumba turning back towards the post. He doesn't oh have the Ghost Trap back up. That is the Necro down. 
Sunstrike coming through, Boundless Strike thrown down onto Matumba, but there's the silence, Adriano in trouble, he's been surrounded, has been taken down, doesn't have buyback on the Ember Spirit available. So Liquid will clean up, get Matumba the double kill, take the top set of racks. The damage from the Medallion plus the uh, Desolator, that Necro gets put at negative 7 armor, gets chunked down 350 to 400 damage per hit from the Lifestealer. Just easily eaten alive. Same thing with Ember. Both these heroes, that's what they suffer from. The Necro and the Ember Spirit. Sure, you have some magic immunity coming from the Ember Spirit, and you have, of course, Ghost Shroud for Necro, but if you get hit by that medallion, that Desol, you're at negative portion. You're taking such an amplified amount of damage. And the question is, can Theo the Core do something big here? They have the Monkey King in the neighborhood, Matuma Man going for the purchase of the Secret Shop. Can they, can they try for this? Doesn't have Boundless Strike up yet. They need the Chain Stun into a Necro ulti. It's, it's going to be hard. I mean, Matumba. He does have GH. Oh, GH. Oh, he finds him in the tree line and cuts down the tree straight away with a sun strike. That is a dead monkey king. He is gone. And uh, they're trying to move in for more. SG is sending everyone in to try and hold this. They do get the GH kill. But losing the monkey king just like that. And maybe the poster as well. They'll try and hold back with the Yules. Go Shroud. The poster forcing himself down to the low ground. But you see he's that damage in so much per trouble. Hit? Yeah, Miracle just punching into the poster once this. Armor reduction comes through onto him from the Deso, as you said. And this man, I don't think he's getting away. Sunstrike not going to be on point, but the control from the Deafening Blast will be. SG losing three once again. The vision coming out from that flight from Night Stalker. Able it's to find the Monkey King, isolate him. Yeah, 13,000 gold lead now. 10,000 experience lead for Liquid. And they're just, they're not giving SG any space. So we saw the Monkey King go for the Battle Fury build, as we mentioned a couple times. That build, you have to be able to force, you have to be able to push lanes out, you have to be able to get online. Your next item is the big damage one, and then your third item is that BKB, which lets you survive the fights. But they're not allowing this to happen. Even when it's daytime, even when Ravage is on cooldown, they were continuing to try to run at them. Now Ravage is up, Darkness is up as well. They're ready to take the last few outer towers and solidify their lead. SG. Outside of the base, eyeing up their tier two. Maybe testing the situation through the court, trying to get the info, seeing if there's any potential of them being able to look for a fight around this position. Dyer's bottom tower is under siege. But it's so hard with the deficit that they are at. Can they really attempt to tackle Liquid head on? As, you know, let alone outside the base. It's now the oh, time has Blink Dagger. I don't know. They're scanning out. Mind Control comes through with the dust. He knows that they're in the neighborhood. Quickly, though, SG, blink away. As soon as that dust is out into the Nyx Assassin, they know that they cannot stay there. The vision game too strong for Liquid oh, with the Nice Talker. Oh, he's been left behind. Bardino just picked apart by Miracle as he doesn't get himself back up to the high ground quick enough. GH, he knows where to go straight away. Costa Bill jumps down. Gets himself away from the big bad Night nice Stalker. My control patiently awaiting for that blink ravage. The infest comes out. He's ready to go in. After this tower dies, catapult, of course, with alacrity. Just killing that tower. Oh, and there it is. They just go for Adriano. They want a quick kill and they get it. That's an ember down for 50 seconds. Wukong's command laid out, but he's pushed out by the deafening blast. The all tens. He's been disarmed. Kuro still with his controls. The golems throwing the rocks out at the Monkey King. Gush slowing him down. They can't keep this Monkey King alive. He's down, and the post is being surrounded. Matuma still has the rage at the ready. Starts to rip into La Post. He forces away. The is going to be the new target. Double kill for Matumba. They can't even get the Reaper Scythe out because the silence is there in time. SG with four out. Make that five. Liquid finding the team wipe. GG is called. And Liquid here in this game one. At no point at all was this team behind. They were winning from minute one. Very few mistakes coming out for them. GH went absolute, absolute beast mode this game. I think I 